Welcome to another episode of Yo, Where Are You From? I'm Anwar Fikri. I'm Anthony Knight. And today, our guest is Anthony Wright, which is confusing as shit. <laughs> yep. But just the darker one is right, okay? <laughs> and I'm not. And this Anthony is, Light, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is take two on this episode, because this professional comedian doesn't know how to use his microphone. What's up, Anthony? <laughs> what is going playing, on, Anwar? Playing. You know what? Uh, I just have to uh, make this clear. Um, both of these guys are good homies of mine. We we do shows all over the DMV area. Um, this is the squad right here. So yep. we we've yeah. known each other for quite some time. So we I'm were glad just to be here. talking like a couple yeah. weeks ago, like just the good good old days. Oh, you yeah. know, when we West yeah. Virginia, that was a fun time. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, the, <laughs> and just everywhere. But you know. You know, just it's always fun when you the homies we can go out on the road a little bit yeah. and and take our you know oh, yeah. jokes to another state whether they work or not. You know, that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. Okay, <laughs> they work for this county. That's it, yes. really. No one knows what Montgomery joking. Village is in West Virginia. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so welcome, welcome to the podcast, man. Um, uh, so the podcast is about family history. So uh, we'll just start off, you know. Uh, yo, where are you from, man? Where's your parents from? Yeah, so uh, just to break it down real quick, you know, my mom was from um, Baltimore. She was born in the Baltimore City area. And uh, my dad is from uh, Virginia, in the uh, Chesapeake kind of southern area of uh, Virginia. So all the black people live in Virginia now, we know. That's in right. Richmond, <laughs> in Amelia County, but you know, with that, down, that cluster. Absolutely right, and um, I was born in uh, Virginia. And then I was raised in uh, Maryland. Got so, it, um, got it. so your parents decided that you know Baltimore was better to go than ironically. Yeah. I feel like they didn't watch The Wire. They <laughs> yeah. didn't, but they was yeah. like, yeah, let's just go here. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then they watched it like, oh, we oh, should have. Sh- we, we made a mistake. Get, yeah. Went that way, mm-hmm. but we went the opposite yeah, yeah. way, for sure. <laughs> but Baltimore's <laughs> rough. Uh, was your so was your dad like was out in the country down there in Virginia? Or like a small town, or I think um in uh, out Are in there the country. Are there cities there? I mean, besides Richmond, <laughs> I guess it is cities. It is cities down there. And the, the funny thing about it, it is a lot of areas where it's a lot of black people in Virginia. But it's also you know you got your hick. Right oh there. yeah, like right next, like not right down the road. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. your hick town. So it's yeah. it's it's interesting. Like you know, you learn really quick which part you belong to. Got it. Got <laughs> it. So and how uh, close is that to Charlottesville, Virginia? <laughs> right, right. And I think I think it's not. I I don't think it's close to Charlottesville, okay, which right. is a good thing. Too, but John. same vibes, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, same, right, yeah. <laughs> Tiki torches and shit. same vibe. You know, it's got a different palette of racism. But it's, 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 it's yeah. tastes a little bit different. You know, yeah. got a little bite to it. It's an old recipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's yeah. the uh, college biggest college nearby? Is it Hampton? Uh, I think it may be Hampton. I think so. Um, okay. I th- I'm not too sure. Um, I haven't I haven't been there too often. It's funny we were just talking about this how like when you're we you live in a place separate from where your family was. Yeah. Uh, when you visit them, sometimes you don't know their names because you don't <laughs> see them <laughs> yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. And you try to be cool, like me. Me and Knight talking. I know he don't say, "Hey, what's my name?" Right? I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, homie?" <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they can call me out on it. Like if I'm dapping with you, right? He like, "What's my name?" I'm like, "Damn!" <laughs> Damn I'm like, yeah, I can't even, family will call you I can't even play shit. it off. Yeah. Like I like, that's man, sad, I know you. Like, what's my name? I'm like, oh that's man, sad. you and you that if you that dude, you? man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if they know you, yeah, and like up to date on all your stuff going yeah. on. you don't even know a name, man. I knew you when you was a little baby. Do this cute little, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You remember funny. all that? Oh, man. Jesus. But then that's your parents' fault for not giving you the whole background of the family tree a little bit, right? Cause yeah. Because you, as a kid, you wouldn't know. Like, that's true. You were a baby last time they saw you. I'm going to tell you what I don't like, though. What? This is what I hate when, you know, you know how people say your grandparents, parents, fathers, cousins. Oh, yeah. I I just, I don't like that. Like, I'm, I'm like, I try to look like I care about it, but I don't. Right, right, right. It was so funny. Like, my, my wife's family was trying to explain her genealogy to me. Mm-hmm. And I just sat there with, like, I'm trying to care face. <laughs> You're just and I just, <laughs> like, you get it? 
<laughs> you know, like, you're like yeah. yeah. But she I actually <laughs> sees the lizard glaze <laughs> go over her eyes. Like, like the nightmare of you about recite it. I'm like, yeah. damn. Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah. it's it's uh you know it's 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 important like you say to keep touch with family. You know sometimes life gets so busy, man. You um, it's hard. You lose sight of you know. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, it, it's look. It is definitely like you feel better when when you're in touch and like you yeah. know you're, you're yeah. like cool with everybody and everything yeah. else. But it definitely can be like, you know, it it takes effort. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. And it's not even, I don't know if it's busy, but, like, as we get older, we just interact with more people. Like, there's just new motherfuckers that come into our life. Yeah. And it's like, all right, well, I got to see how this person's doing, that person's doing. Before you know it, like, your grandma's aunties, uncles, nephew, like, I can't remember to hit them up and see how they're doing. Oh, right. Like, I got to adjust yeah. for a time zone difference yeah. and Skype calls and <laughs> yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta wait. Yeah, especially for you all the way in Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few cousins I still, you know, will talk to and whatever. And then, and then a, a bunch will, you know, find me on Facebook or whatever and will hit me up. And then I just get a message in Arabic. I'm like, dog, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Like, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I don't sorry. know what it is for you, but, like, you know, <laughs> trying to talk to relatives on social media is hard. Like, oh. my grandmother, like, she's oh, got man. this awkward selfie and, like, she'll be, like, tagging me in pictures that I don't approve of. So do you talk to family on socials? I do, but it's I don't know what it is about old people on Facebook. That's what they I'm saying. Just yeah. don't, it, it's just so weird, and they do all of the old trends that's not cool anymore. So like, oh yeah, like it's know. it's so like it's, reposting Candy Crush or like those games yeah, that nobody plays it's just, anymore. It's it's weird. And, yeah. Um, I don't know, but I, I try to I try to stay in touch with them. It's it's messed up because I was thinking about you know when somebody passes, everybody's there. Right. But there should right, be other. Right opportunities where you still have that it shouldn't be when somebody dies yeah yeah, yeah, sure. yeah oh this is your cousin yeah. from you know twice removed i'm like oh well, i should meet you before this yeah this so this you have a big family i have a big family right. um ironically i didn't know it till somebody kicked the bucket which is oh, like yeah uh, <laughs> it's kind of messed up because yeah, you look yeah. around at the, in the church and you're like all these people are like <laughs> wow that's crazy and so which side's big your dad's side your mom's side um so I'm going to say like I'm going to say my mom's side is bigger. And um something y'all probably didn't know about me was I was a a, a PK kid. What's um, that? Do y'all know what that is? A PK? No. Yeah. Hmm. So that's and it's, it's nothing gay. <laughs> <Everybody> <laughs> and I was like, I, know how you're oh, oh. I was like, is he trying to bid on us now? Funny no, or not? I, was, I don't know no. where we're going with I this. Find this is, no, this is a very straight thing, but not it's uh <laughs> is AKA for pastors kid. Pastor's oh, kid. Okay. So my mom's oh, okay. father was a, a pastor. Yeah. And eventually she became a pastor. So I had a lot of ministers and pastors. Your mom was a pastor. Yeah. So, so, so you grew up in the church. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not too familiar with black church stuff. Is that common? Female pastors. You know what? Back in the day, it wasn't because there's a whole thing about women being pastors. Right. Like, right. Uh, you know, so, like okay, so it's not it, so she was a, a rarity. Try yeah, telling a black woman yeah. she can't do something, and that you'll find out. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I try yeah. something like that? Yeah. That part too. But I'm glad. I'm glad we I mentioned went to high this. school. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I got yelled at a bunch. Because y'all know Anwar. Anwar served, and you know he did his thing. You know, in the um, Air Force. <laughs> Uh, (laughs) (laughs) yes but um my grandfather served in the army too okay um and then you know after that he decided to become a pastor and it was funny thing with my our our generation this was his second marriage so his first marriage um was it was a lot of nonsense and bullshit going on, with it. like meaning like drugs and people doing foul things. Okay, and all right. He had to kind of separate from that yeah, and yeah, kind of yeah. reset <laughs> and start over. So, so that uh, was before the military. I think that was after the military. Okay. On, your, on your mother's side, your grandmother. Yeah. So okay. he okay. Uh, wow. he was like, "Now nah, I'm gonna be a pastor, so these these kids aren't heathens." Like you know, <laughs> the, the first yeah. set. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try over and this family thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I haven't really met the first set too, because now I'm curious of like you know wow. how so they a are. Whole, you got whole like yeah, whole it's like player. a black sheep, yeah. but if it was a flock of okay. yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's like, like a time <laughs> split in one of those movies. Like yeah, a different alternate reality. realities. Yeah. 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 So like you meet a, a dude who looks just like <laughs> you. Remember in the Simpsons they had Shelbyville. He's yeah. Shelbyville, <laughs> Anthony Wright. <laughs> 
That is hilarious. So, yeah, he wanted to kind of start over, so he became a pastor, and I became a musician from that. So I started playing drums, and I played keys, too. In the church? Um, yeah. Okay. So um, I grew up in church, so I, anything and everything you might have heard about church or, like, seen, I've, like, in black church, and of course, is different from every other church. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, it's it's different. But um, yeah, and I'm not one thing. I'm not a fan of a black church is how long the, the service is. It's <laughs> just I don't know what we we are just long winded. I can uh, yeah, because I didn't grow up in either church, but like I went to black churches and white churches, and yeah. I remember one week I went to a white church. I was like, it's not so bad. They gave us a little bit of bread. They said it was like Jesus's flesh yeah. and some wine. Yeah, yeah. That's went to a black that church. Catholic? That's Catholic. Catholic okay. Yeah. And then black church, they said, you know, we're going to eat at the end. So I was excited. Four hours later, my stomach is rumbling and shit. I was like, <laughs> I, and you grew up with that shit. So well, at man. least y'all didn't have to listen to a guy do a sermon in an accent, a heavy <laughs> accent, or it happened in Arabic. Or w- uh, sometimes it, sometimes they'll do it in like other languages, right? If you go to like, oh, this is mostly like uh, P- Pakistanis go here. He'll do it in another language, and then he'll translate pieces of the. Oh, so you're just wow. sitting there, and you're like, "Yo, Dad, can I go outside and play?" He's like, "Sit down." I'm like, "We're learning." I'm like, "Are we?" I'm learning Farsi. That's what I'm doing. Like, what? But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Church. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of. Um, well, that's cool. You learned to play music in it. Yeah, and, it was definitely. Um, I feel like that's the the two things that that give me life in this is the whole music and comedy. Those yeah, because I've seen you. That's dope. You you post a lot of content with you on the keyboard, right? I've seen some stuff. Yeah, a little bit, just yeah. a little, tickle, not tickle not tickle trying to just tickling a little bit. Yeah, I listen. I wish I could play. You know. Yeah. Like I have yeah. a keyboard upstairs. But oh <laughs> man, you could have brought it. We could have yeah. made oh, this yeah, a show whole. Little, yeah. Show oh yeah. Oh damn. Set. But well, you know. maybe we'll you know maybe we'll we'll do a quick pause. Yeah yeah yeah. We'll do do a little something. So you said you got music and comedy from church. So what what was the comedy like? What manifested the comedy? From oh church? yeah. Well, I couldn't say the comedy in church. Yeah. I had to say that in behind the scenes. Well, I, listen, well God was still <laughs> watching. <laughs> you guys might not be familiar with his comedy, but it didn't seem like he grew up in church. Yeah. Say that. It doesn't yeah. scream yeah. holier than now. You should but see our yeah. group messages. It's yeah. wild in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very heathen. That's what, so is that okay? Wait. So th- the PK you th- you literally s- gave it to us in two letters. A pastor's kid. Yeah. Is the is that like Catholic schoolgirls? Is the thing like the pastor's <laughs> kids always wild? Yeah, cause that's that's the part of it. Like when you grew up with a, a, a under a pastor or a minister, the the whole idea is that the kids like know how to do their dirt behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Because the whole picture is that you're this perfect kid. Yeah. It's not that you you just do your dirt. You know how to cover it up. Yeah, yeah. it's like so nobody no don't know. Yeah, like I'm sure the presidents. I'm sure presidents' daughters. <laughs> oh, get down! Yeah, but we just Obama's son. But it's just like you know, CIA just go, removes yeah. all yeah, of exactly. the evidence, right, right, like, and it's right. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, theirs is probably a whole other level. They probably oh, kill yeah. people. Like, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, that we don't even know about. Nah, yeah, oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. yeah. <laughs> but damn, so okay, so the whole thing is like you present with this image and. Like, you yeah. know how to come across as, and speak respectfully and all that, but yeah. you're getting down just like everybody else, maybe more. What yeah, did you, would you say w- it's repressive? Maybe a little bit? or you know. um, I don't know if it's, uh, I guess, you, you know, you really can't um, express it, you know, because Christianity, it's, it's really a mold that they want you to be in. Mm. So um, mm-hmm. it's really not a speak your mind type of thing. It's like. Now, do you have, really? do you um, have siblings? Are you the oldest? Or um, so I have a little sister, um, named Sharice. Um, it's a big gap in our um age. You know how some parents they want to have their kids back to back. For mm-hmm. us, it was a big. Um, well, the only reason I don't want to get too far off. So the only reason I ask is because you know multiple kids growing up in the church. Yeah. Were you like the rebellious one and kind of like set the example for her? But I guess yeah. You also have the age gap. I too. feel like I'm tainting her, <laughs> cause like I've seen. I've seen like how church is, and I'm trying to give her like the the, the game school. to it yeah, okay. to be like the cheat codes. I mean, yeah, like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 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 like, uh, uh, it's <laughs> right, 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 dog. <laughs> but no, not I trying know. to be mean, but just like yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what they I know what they said, but uh, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, don't, so don't listen to that. Yeah, that's why I say I feel like I'm tainting her because I'm I'm trying to tell her like I'm trying to give her like what it is. Well, so you would call it yeah. Um, not a harsh truth, but just be like, it's not, uh, I mean, you yeah, know. <laughs> you, well, you would call it taint from the eyes of someone who's in the church, but what would you call it for just, 
someone who's not religious, you're just um, hipping her on game? Yeah, I think it's good rules, like not kill people. It's good yeah. rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. steal. You know, it's, it's, it's things in there that's yeah. good that you can be like, hey, yeah, don't screw your 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 friend's wife or like yeah right, right, it's right. things in there like okay sure. we can get with that some we can but we should know that internally too are you trying to yeah, say like you yeah, know yeah, yeah, you yeah. shouldn't do that shit yeah yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but when know. it comes to the story of uh jonah in a pale <laughs> stomach they're like listen <laughs> oh, come on man yeah that's that kind of thing and there's so many translations of the the bible and stuff like that it's 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 a lot but um Going back to, it, I do have a little sister, and uh-huh. um, she's she's smart, really smart. Uh, her name is Sharice. So, um, but um, she's cool. She's really cool. She's um, learning learning a lot. Um, That's good. What's the age gap? Good lord. So I'm 32. Just recently turned 32, and she's six, 17. Oh, oh wow! So it's yeah, like, like, like you had like already yeah. basically like experienced gap. life, yeah, not yeah, life. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow, like wow, that's wow. what I mean by gap. I'm right, like, right, right, <laughs> right. Like a big ass gap. Yeah, so. like m- like my <laughs> older brother and my and my little sister. I'm the middle child, in case you can't tell from my gotcha. everything I do in my life. But um, they're six years apart. Okay, that's not so okay, that's, that's not, not that's too not too bad. bad. She's like four years younger than me, right? And I'm like, I'm like that's a pretty big gap, you know? Yeah. But that's not <laughs> really a gap, I guess. No, that's a compare. Yeah, That's yeah. Wild. So wait, how old is your old is your older brother then? My older brother, so I'm 33. He's 35. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So me and That's him cool. were like, you know, yeah. we were like always with him. We went to, he when I was in sixth grade, he was in eighth grade. We did two years of high school together. Like we we're close in that way in age. Like, yeah. but with my sister, like, I was never in high school when she was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. It was just, we just missed, missed each other. it. Yeah. Exactly. See, that's yeah. how it was. Well, with my sister, when I was a senior, she was a freshman. But then my youngest brother and sister, similar age gap. Like, my brother, he's a freshman in college now. And then my sister's 16. So there's oh, that wow. age gap of, like, yeah, trying to hit them on just life. But yeah. yeah. But I didn't grow up with them at all, really. Like, I just saw them for, like, the first time in yeah. 10 years. So, But, like, at this stage in life... I see what you mean, uh, because six years doesn't really matter, right? Like, my brother and my sister could be, uh, like, ostensibly doing the same thing. I don't know if I use ostensibly right. I probably (laughs) You didn't didn't say it right, but it's okay. I didn't say it right the second time. Yeah, but (laughs) I think it's right. You're good. You're good. I'm trying to be smart. I'm not. I'm not. (laughs) You know, whatever. Anyways, but, but yeah, but, like, you'll never be having the same life experience as her. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're so... Far ahead. Like Society I can't imagine the technology. trying to tell her about dating or something like that. Right. Knowing right. like all the stuff, like all the stuff I know right now. Yeah, you're like, like trying to give her advice. She's when like, you, how she's do like, you, why you just, don't you just do, use your, you know, your brain implant? And yeah, <laughs> I could imagine what I, I would like, say what? if I was her age, but like as a thirty, like yeah. what do you say to a sixteen or like seventeen? I'm sorry, seventeen yeah. year old. Hey, look, like, there's some, there's some, uh, you just say some good luck. hard truths <laughs> <laughs> that don't change Man, over time. I'm trying to tell you, bro. So I'm, I'm trying to, and I'm trying to balance it. I'm trying to not to be too, too harsh with the truth. I'm trying to fluff it up with, right, you know, right, right, right. like I'm telling the story. To yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know. But yeah, and the funny thing is when, when you're in church and it's boring, that's when you want to cut up and joke around. Oh, oh for sure, yeah. <laughs> I hope that's a good segue into yeah. like where this is going. But, you know, church is known as a boring place. I mean, black church it gets interesting when people shout and you can let you could they, they get up and start, and yeah. Right, right, they yeah. running around and um you know the speaking in tongues you, you've heard that right? yeah okay. i've heard of it you've heard okay <laughs> i mean i've right, seen so like borat do it in a movie <laughs> <laughs> sorry well, that's they got offended they both looking back like damn dog, this guy no that's sorry, right. I'm sorry. think <laughs> of <laughs> isis but happy yeah. <laughs> yeah. happy isis yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> i can't picture it <laughs> how but, yeah so how did your parents react now i mean you're doing comedy like when you started to kind of like find your own like path yeah how was that being the son of a grandson and the son of two people in the church yeah it was tough um because the question i still get this today because sometimes i'll play gigs at like some churches and they'll ask me hey do you do christian comedy Oh. And I'm like, no, Hell no, 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 no. So, wait, so you brought your material into a church? I did. They they found out. Somebody told them that I'm a comedian, oh, which no. is bad because then I had this 
and she's a good friend of mine. One of the church mothers asked me to do a show for like the church women. <laughs> that's, and you, that's your if you know me, you know how funny that is. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't. Uh, I oh, can't you should have done it. Dude. And she's like, why, why, baby? We we'll support you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, I just you I'm not. Just, you should have just went. I in. my my material was not a. Uh, not for not, that crowd. Not for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, no, it's definitely not. <laughs> 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 just imagine the church mothers with the hats just like, just oh. looking at me like. Just they're going to need an extra fan so after yeah. the first up, joke. Yeah. Like, you like know. three abortion jokes in a row? <laughs> we don't believe in that. <laughs> they're just like looking at the cross of Jesus yeah. at the church like, I'm not laughing. And there's a, res- I, I respect where I came from, but you know, with, with Christian audiences like that, there's just a very, it's very timid and. Uh, it's it's PC. That was funny. We yeah, we yeah. we alluded to that before, but it's a very you have to tread lightly with that audience. Right, right, right. right. Um, it's There's almost like a, a audience full of social justice warriors. You have to be very <laughs> yeah. particular in very, your jokes. Yeah. Yeah. You got to talk about cookies and puppies. Um, and you can still screw that up if you're not careful. Yes, even yeah. even <laughs> then. So um, yeah. I don't. I like the. I just like the. I like my audience to be people that just want to laugh and don't really. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That, you know, it's not really th- that. I um, can hear anything. It's not, you know. Yeah, yeah. So um, I had to kind of do my my jokes, and I have a cousin <laughs> who's kind of like my uh, my teammate in church because we were always cut up, and we would we would just laugh at stuff we saw oh, in church. Oh, that's the best, dude. Like um, the outfits. Those like, would, yo, trying there. not to laugh, you know? Yeah, that's that, the best, right? Yeah. <laughs> like we're supposed yeah. to, like, you yeah. know what I mean? I had yeah. a and you know I don't know I I turned this into I turned this into a joke but there was a funny story that happened in church that made me think of comedy. Um, I don't know if y'all want me to go into it, but yeah. you know what <laughs> I hate? It, I hate when uh when people pray for a long time because they run out of stuff to say, <laughs> and you can tell you can tell when um they running out of stuff, and uh, you know they just trying to. Keep like, it going. And you yeah. know, they, they thank God for everything. And they're yeah. like, God, we thank you for the parking spot closest to the church. Yeah. I like, ain't just, walk just, all the way. just yeah. the most yeah. like yeah. mediocre yeah. thing. Yeah. Everybody's, and everybody's eyes are closed, but you see them all going like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this guy was praying, right? And I, we, we got this. We want God to do a lot of things that he probably didn't sign up to do or didn't want to do. Right? <laughs> so God, everybody wants God to touch them. Right. <laughs> and this guy was like, this guy was like, God, please touch me. Like, we need to be touched by you. <laughs> and if you don't want to do it, help me to touch myself. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's what he said. But no, nope, my face was like, what is wow, going yeah. on? And me and the musicians are laughing. I'm like. I'm like, I'm gonna buy that CD just to hear <laughs> that part. Not even the, not even the preaching. He's a genius, though. He just asked God for permission to masturbate, and yeah. now it's okay. It's no longer a yeah. sin. Hey. And like, nobody, nobody like paid attention to. Him. I was the one that paid attention of to. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm no, I'm looking around like for that confirmation, and like y'all nobody's. Didn't, y'all didn't hear that? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, yeah. that's just me. But, See, um, Muslims, we have the everything. When you pray, you know what you're gonna say because you're yeah. saying. Some, Surahs from the Quran, yeah. and then at the end you throw in your little, like, <laughs> all right, this is my thing. At the very end, you gotta say the yeah. whole thing. It's like, you know, because I would imagine there's probably no freestyling um, in that type of prayer. It's yeah, probably well, a very you say yeah, what yeah, yeah. is supposed to be and don't. No, you're not going off the top. Of yeah, you're not going <laughs> off the cuff and like <laughs> at the end, you, like you said, you can like <laughs> s- sprinkle something in there, like <laughs> go through the whole script. And oh, by the way, help me cure this cancer. No, I have at, here. At, the, at the very end, <laughs> yeah. you literally can, you do that at the very very end. And there's other situations where you can just you know whatever, but you gotta you have to say what they you know the words first. You gotta say the cur- like the the mm. surahs the, the verses first. Oh, wow. um, but yeah, it's not just actually it's actually kind of impressive. And I think that's why a lot of comics, great comics, um, have come from church and and have come from that because being a pastor or or doing prayers where you're just Those you have to say these words. like powerful words yeah. all yeah. the time for like whatever in the moment mm-hmm. where our you know ours is pre written it's jokes <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> You wrote it on Monday, and yeah, yeah. you're trying it out on Wednesday. Can I tell you something cool I learned uh, from Chris Rock about preachers? Mm. Um, 
he mentioned that uh believe it or not a lot of preachers go to comedy shows mm. to learn like skills to incorporate comedy into like their messages yeah i can believe i s- so yeah. now i've seen a couple of preachers where they're like they're cracking jokes wow and dude. they're like in between their messages so yeah. some of them will and Chris, I said they'll never say they were here because they're still pastors. So yeah, you know, but they will show up in the back and they will watch. I can. Try I to, worked with a pastor you know. like just recently in Georgia. Uh, shout out Pastor Derek, funny dude, and I could see that like you know because he's has those powerful words, but then he'll crack in jokes here and there. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's performance at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's not like you, it, it's not framed that way. But yeah, if you think yeah. about it, it's a guy with a microphone in front yep. of a big audience and every Sunday. You got to keep them drawn in. You know what I mean? And yeah. yeah, you have to build tension and break it and like and, and yeah. keep people engaged. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, actually, man, maybe I should go be a pastor for a while. And get <laughs> get get some chops here. You know what I'm saying? Some performance chops because. Well, who's playing for bigger audiences than them? No, for well, sure, consistent yeah. Consistent audiences. Especially if it's on TV, too. You get the TV audience. We get happy yeah. at an open yeah. mic when there's, like, four Five, drunk, yeah. fat <laughs> bitches at a table. <laughs> We're like, yes, an audience. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? And then you get the same drunk, four fat bitches, but they're repenting for the sins the night before. Right, you know. right, right. There's right. a lot of the... I'm not going to speak on it, but, you know, there's these holier-than-thou women that we've come across. Uh, speak on it. it. Yes. Uh, and then Saturday night, they're out twerking and sucking dick. And then on Sunday, <laughs> they're repenting for their sins. But no judgment. Who am I to judge? Mm-hmm. You know? You're telling him about being correct all the time. I was like, you know what, Anthony Knight? It's too much correctness. But, that, yeah. like, it's – he's right, though. I mean, it's 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 people that they, they like to sniff their own farts, quote, unquote. Yeah. You, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you know, they feel themselves. But, but don't yeah, you don't – there's you're this right, thing where like, I go – yeah. I, the majority of people don't care. That's what I think. Yeah. I think most people, it's not that. No. It's, it's just, just because there's they're platforms vocal. for them to be vote. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, we're not experiencing it at our level like what the like professional comics are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, yeah. at our level, it'd be, it would, it'll turn into like these small like melodramas in on Facebook threads. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Or and the only the people we were like getting canceled by our family right now. Like that's it. Like, you know, we offend them or the people closest to us. But other than that, no one gives a fuck. Can I ask y'all, have y'all ever performed with y'all family in front of y'all? Oh yeah. Because I don't want to d- they Not want my parents. They want to do it so bad, but I just don't want them in front of me. No. But I guess I'm waiting for the right show. That's the smart. right like, like they had to enough? sneak up on me that's how like no, i would no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> i'm not having that okay. yeah i know but if you listen if they show up he's getting they're getting these jokes bro <laughs> yeah. hey, man, like <laughs> all right like you ready for this yeah. i hope okay, you ready you, you wanted to smoke show up? yeah i got I, I wrote a bunch of jokes yeah. about you driving a bus <laughs> dad like uh, so my mom <laughs> she's seen me perform a few times like a good number of times my dad hasn't okay. but he's seen like clips and it always seems to be the clips where i'm like Talking about his love for white women and he hates it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's like, and look, all you ever he's doing it again. I'm, no, no, I'm explaining it now. So this he time, to look. He Dad, you so watching this? Listen, the I, that's not all my <laughs> shit. Okay. He's like, is that all the material you got? Is me? I'm like, no, no. So that he hasn't been, but I can feel like for your mom coming to see you do comedy yeah. it might oh. be like my so dad. She, in so way she has then, right? Th- she has, but it's just a pastor because I see her as that that right. person. You oh, know what really? I mean? You don't so, see her as mom first. You see her as a pastor. Yeah, first? but she she's been doing that for so long. It's just like I don't want to just identity bring anything thing. like crazy around her. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Even if I like, even if we did an open mic, she wanted to come to. I'm like. That's the worst place. Yeah, uh, that is. It's not, a, it's not your jokes you got to worry yeah, about. It's your exactly. heathen friends. You could do yeah. a clean so set before, but. I could switch it up for her. You ain't about to tell me. Yeah. Hey, my mom's here. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I will. I promise you. <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> Imagine having to tell, like, Johnny O to calm down my mom's in the audience with oh, the, his yeah, material. Yeah. I'd, be like, I'd be like, Sean, like, look, if you want five extra minutes. Just say nice jokes in front of my mom, and yeah, then we'll yeah. give you five <laughs> extra minutes. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. And dog. the flyer, and the flyer. <laughs> yeah, post, post it three times, please, and then you might get an opportunity to maybe sometimes. And no dick yeah. jokes in front of Anthony's mama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the <laughs> rules and regulations. You could come on Friday too, maybe. Yeah. If I choose you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
We're going to have audience vote, but they don't know they're voting. <laughs> yeah, they're not yeah. going to vote. But and by the way, funny. there's no audience. It's just y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you guys don't get to vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I want them. It's it's weird. With, it's just with religion and comedy. It's They're, they're kind of like two things that don't really flow together. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you have to keep a, a respectful, and at least with my family, I try to keep a respectful boundary. Unless somebody's cool, and I know like they they won't be feeling no type of way, they'll be like, "Oh man, come through." But if you holier than thou, and you like, you know, it's and then I'm like, uh, I don't yeah. want well, anybody that's really <laughs> serious about something. Yeah, you know what I mean. If they take if they take that thing very serious, is the most important thing to them or whatever. I'm, it might not even have to be the most important thing, but if they hold that thing in above like all other things if you're making fun of it so if a girl's super into animals and she like yeah. volunteers for PETA and she's like and she could listen to you do like you know you could trash like every religion yeah but then you do a joke about hamburgers like, or yeah something. man i was so mad at that dog i kicked it out of my way and if yeah. just that whatever she'd be like this guy is the worst you know what i mean yeah so whoever whatever you got yeah. that's like your thing yeah. You don't want to hear anything about it. And you don't want yeah. other people to do. Yeah. That's, that's where I, that's where it's you know. It's just religion so powerful. I mean, even yeah. animal lovers, I mean, you know. Yeah. But like he said, it could be anything. I mean, no one cares about and then fuck get you fucked up. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous game, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I wanna bring I wanna bring my, my sister when she's old enough to like see me do a show, but I gotta wait till Now she's do they watch like that. the Black CNN? Do they watch any yeah, of that? Yeah, okay. like, I don't mind. I don't. That's that's not as yeah. as bad. So I let them. I let them kind of peep that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm, and I think I'm the only one in the family too. And I, I'm. Are you guys the only one that does? You're probably the only ones that do on the stand up tip. Yeah. That really. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you really stand out when they're like, oh, we for wanna, sure, for sure. I mean, know, you know, um, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, for me, I, for me, I'm I'm pretty sure, sure I'm the only one that's done anything like. In the whole family, because most of my cousins yeah. are, are, are in Morocco. They're just trying to survive out there. Like, I mean, uh, you know, they have good, just a lot of them have good jobs. And yeah. are, most of them are better educated than I am. You know what I mean? And, uh, but as, as a, a performance thing, I think I'm the only person who's doing anything close to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, my sister doesn't do comedy. She does a lot of public speaking and yeah. things like that. Like how you have like yeah. your family in the church. So, but aside from that, performance wise, yeah, I don't got anybody. So yeah. it's funny. And the ironic thing, you know, you ask like, where did you get your, where do you get your, your sense of humor? Because normally it comes from somebody. Like if you right. had to say which, which parent was the one that yeah. you got it from. I, ironically, I thought it was from my father. Cause he's funny, but my mom is hilarious when she's not trying to be. Oh, really? Yeah. It's weird. You know those people that are serious, but it's hilarious. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they're serious yeah, and they're yeah. not even like she's yeah, that. Yeah. That's and funny. She like. So I was like, man, I think it's from her. I don't know if you guys. I get that from my mom. That, but like, but does she ever like try to be funny with like a, her group of friends or whatever and, and be making them laugh? You know what I mean? She tries. She tries to be. And it's weird. It's when she's not trying to be that she kills. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, always. It's weird. What I'm saying, yeah. but does yeah. she do well when she tries though? She does. Does she hold court? Yeah. She. Yeah. 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 Because that's my mom. She holds court. Like my mom will try to hold court. I think well at the Frederick show, you guys met my mom. I don't know if you guys remember. Shorter, like she was. She had like a couple comments. I don't know if you guys were there, but she was like just going on me in front of them. And then like. Molly's like, you should have given her five minutes on stage. And I'm like, no, <laughs> y'all don't want that at all. <laughs> no. But my dad's like the funny, he's like the shit talker. Now, dad, I don't mean that in a fucked up way. That's a, that's a <laughs> compliment, okay? So, um, but, so like, I think that's from the de my dad's side. Yeah. But your yeah, dad is like yeah. the jokester. Yeah, he's 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 funny. For, I think for him, you have to kind of get him started, and then he'll kind of follow up. And yeah, like, yeah. So you have to start the shit, and then he'll kind of like jump on jumping, it, and like he'll kind of like, like you the know the shoulders start going. <laughs> he's like, yeah, hold it. yeah, I know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's but, what's up. Yeah, he's he's funny. Though, All right, man. how'd your parents meet? Man, so good do lord. You know, do they talk about um, the story? Do you know about it, or like how I'm, old were they? You know, what I'm saying? not even sure when they. Uh, or how they met. I don't know. And I feel like parents, low-key, they probably lie to their kids about how they met, too. <laughs> yeah. To seem more mm -hmm. cooler. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I know they got married young. 
mm-hmm. which is like really an old school thing. Like back in the day, yeah. people got like eighteen. It was like, yo, yo what you trying to do? TikTok, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah. like. <laughs> and so like back in the day, people just got married young. Like they yeah. just knew, like. Yeah. And um, was your mom into like religion hard at that time too? Because I mean, she's a pastor's daughter, so yeah, or was she, she like was, the um, sneaking your dad around type? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't even know. She probably wouldn't tell me anything like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, like you said, they keep it behind closed doors. Man, yeah. like I'm trying. If you know how some pastors get, you you see some pastors <laughs> in the news and you learn things about how they get down. Where yeah. it's like. Like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. That's yeah. the new shit. That's, yeah. that's I'm waiting. Wild. I'm waiting for something to come out about Joel Osteen. You know that dude it's that smiles all yeah. the There's time. There's plenty of stuff that comes it's, out. It's it's <laughs> it's a lot, man. Well, he didn't want to use his church during the hurricanes down in Texas. In Texas, yeah. yeah. A man of God, you would think, like, yeah. Come. So we just um, spent. <laughs> we just spent. He's like, in the yeah, back, right. Like, <laughs> we just spent one hundred seventy-five thousand yeah. dollars and flew all that carpet <laughs> in. From Italy. Now we're not gonna have a bunch of wet Houstonians coming in here. <laughs> now I know y'all paid for it when we passed the plate around, but we really paid for it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Them yeah. Southern so, pastors be popping up. Every it's, some, it's something about well, Southern. Who's the black dude um, that uh, he was arguing with Obama? About his, what, with, the, with his private plane and why he needed it. So oh, much? Creflo Dollar. Creflo yeah. Dollar. Yeah, that was the Creflo. best one ever, dude. He had. Creflo he was like Dollar. in a. He was like getting uh, interrogated. Or, like, questioned about all that stuff. <laughs> he had all this bling on. It. He was like, we needed it. There's that <laughs> church show on um, Netflix. <laughs> Have you guys seen the show on Netflix? Green, it's the black church show. Uh, yeah. Green Place, is it called Green Place Terrace? Or uh, Greenleaf. Greenleaf, yeah. It's basically a drama about anything, everything that happens in church. Yeah, oh, it's like a black mega like church, and it has, like, all the, like, they have their skeletons and their corruption. Yeah. Oh, but damn, yeah. Damn. So it's pretty cool. What's and his name? Um, this just happened from the the cool hip church that the dude who's friends with Justin Bieber. Oh, uh, friends with Justin Bieber. Uh, Hillsong, that guy. Oh, the guy from okay. Hillsong, Carl Lentz. Oh, Pastor okay. Carl Lentz. He oh. just got caught up cheating. He's like a huge cheating Man. scandal. You know what we got to start. The, 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 the church dropped them and all that. Damn. Go that's, ahead. that's the biggest. I'm I'm so glad you said that. This is going to be interesting because I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that preachers ain't getting it in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's the biggest misconception. Right. Let me tell you, some musicians <laughs> at churches got got groupies, man. I know I know Damn. cats at churches where yo, like they can whoever they see they want. Cause it's like you're you're also on stage too with them, so it's the mm. pastor, it's the musicians, like it's like a whole production. Yeah, you're yeah, in the yeah. lam. So even if I'm not doing jokes on that stage, I'm yeah, still yeah. on the stage. Right, like. right, right. Yeah. <laughs> if you're J Lo's backup dancer, you could smash J Lo yeah. potentially. <laughs> and let's be real, in church, a lot of people aren't paying attention, the so they're just like looking at everyone on stage. So eyes are on you at all times. Yeah. Like, so but I think that's what makes people crazy is because if you're not getting it in. <laughs> All that built up, pent up aggression makes you like go insane. Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. And then you do something crazy and you start eyeballing the little choir boys. And, oh, you know, yeah. oh. <laughs> so, anyway, we're <laughs> not going to go that way. But, I mean, we, my we point. just did. So, <laughs> I, I don't think there's much <laughs> more to say about it, bro. We know who our guest is today. Family. Yeah. Let's talk more about family. So, but now, nah, like, growing up, growing up in the church was definitely uh, big for me. Um, yeah. My um, it was weird because with my um, my mom and dad, my mom was a uh, career oriented, so she was a career woman, mm-hmm. definitely you know going to school and um, one of the first to go to college because um, her mom was old school. Her mom said, "Look, just go find a man, get married, and be the housewife." And you now, know, both your mom's parents are from Maryland. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, she didn't want to do that. She was like, you know, I'm gonna you know get a degree, get this money. And um, that's what she did because, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's two different types, you know. And, um, you know, I'm not sure if your mom was like that, too, but mine was definitely the career woman that wanted to make the money. And um, it got to a point. It's weird. My dad used to work at the uh, steel, uh, Bethlehem Steel, which okay. if y'all know, was like yeah, yeah, yeah. way back in the day, like, you yeah. know. It was and big business back then. Oh. Probably, I'm sure oh, he's making yeah, great, exactly, yeah. great money, and mm-hmm. you know, welding and all that. They they make paper, man. Benef- so benefits, yeah. Listen, oh, if yeah. you can weld, like oh you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're set up. Here. And um, I don't know when it when it uh closed down. I'm sure it was a while ago, but um, 
it was a position where she was like making a lot more, bringing in more money mm. too. So um, wow, and that's a weird dynamic because I don't know if you've ever experienced that, like dating or in a relationship. But when <laughs> sometimes the lady makes more than you, what you mean? It, like um, when if you get out of the military and you don't have a job like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm getting oh, at yeah, with this, yeah. but like. If you know what that dynamic, I've seen it. I haven't. It's like, like, who's the bitch in the relationship? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I like, because, like, huh? this one, he, he, he breaks it down so, he like, to so the core. Just, yeah. I like make a cute <laughs> joke about, like, I've been in that situation. And then he's like, he was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been there. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of times. And yeah. it's, it's one of the things where you think, like, how can you make that dynamic work? Because. Yeah. I don't, it's something with and y'all can make. Here's how you make. You gotta be slinging it like times <laughs> to the tenth power. You gotta yeah, like yeah. Well, <laughs> like <laughs> in the moment you don't. Guess what? It's yeah, yeah. Single again. Yeah, it's yeah. That's that's so so yeah. It's it's a weird dynamic. Like I don't know if he had a he had a period, and it was a big gap where he wasn't really bringing in, and it wasn't a gap like uh, I'll get on my feet. It was like a. Like what you doing? Like, oh, like man. years. Right, right. I don't so know be out of this. now you know how women set up. When they they bring in the paper and they they looking at that. They kind of like, mm. yeah. So um, <laughs> like, do I gotta freshen up my profile or what we do? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, it's um, I think that dynamic showed me that like, man, I gotta make sure I get my stuff together or contribute. Mm. Right, right. As right. a as a as a man too, yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. Men can we guys are used to doing that. If a guy makes more than his girl, then that's just he doesn't have that. That's ticking. par for the course. Yeah, he doesn't have that time clock of like uh, figure it out or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pack. You know, yeah, like yeah. guys, women have guys don't really have guys are just like well, I'm, that's just kind of what I do. That's changing though, man. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, true. Because now, yeah, because now yeah. like like women are just better at like going through life than yeah. like young men are like they they graduate with better grades they get into better schools they graduate more they killing the degrees yeah, they definitely yeah. on the education like they definitely killing the degrees right um, right oh for sure it's just on the uh yeah the masters yeah. and the phds and all that because yeah but i still they, you know they're still not like going for uh in mass like the things that that's that's why it's like the big push put more women in stem mm. because that's where that's where you know Liberal arts is lucrative. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Don't do that. Like, don't no, with a master's degree. No, and, like, it's not. It's not. I'm, I'm it's so like, joking right yes, now. But liberal studies. arts is not. Trust right. me. I I got a. I got one of those nonsense degrees, and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's trash. Don't don't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does nothing for you. <laughs> I mean, what does it really teach you? Just like these lofty concepts. You know yeah. what I mean? That are interesting for sure, but like. Yo, we got to eat. Like, <laughs> well, I don't have Man. time for lofty concepts. Whew. Like, Good I got to innovate something or build some business or whatever. Like, yeah, like to really, like financially, like, yeah, crush, you got to, that's sort of the thing. And that's if you want to do college at all. See, personally, since I'm like, went into the Air Force and I did a blue collar job in the Air Force, I'm like, yo, that's where it's at, really. Yeah. On the low, you're making like, 75 80k mm. as a carpenter apprentice or like your dad yeah. like a welder yeah you know what i'm saying like if you have one of those skills that are like r- harder and harder to, to get yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah those are you wow you can live a great life mm. you know what i mean but yeah you pay for it with your body and shit <laughs> like it's uh, it's hard trade off yeah 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 so um and i i learned a lot you know going back to my parents one thing i learned is that um like my mom was um she really believed in helping people and giving Mm -hmm. and she was a giver and um that's one of the things i picked up from her that's kind of like a blessing and a curse to me because if sometimes if you're a good guy people can like appreciate it and take advantage of it sure so i have i had to learn how to uh i had to learn my cutoff say no yeah, yeah, you know what oh. I mean? Learning to say no. Like enforcing your own yeah. boundaries. Yeah. Learning to say like no is taking like... Taking the kindness for weakness. People yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. bro. Take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. Um, and those that, like, y'all know, like, those that know me, man, if somebody, like, 
need something and I can like help out and we like we friends and all that, I'm like, man, I got you. But mm-hmm. um like my mom too, she a lot of people would turn their backs on her after she would help them. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And um right, right. I had a I had a situation like that with um a, a family member that I helped out and when I asked him for something, you know, he he kinda questioned me like I was like, you know, like, like you I, weren't gen or like you weren't that type of person to like return the favor. Yeah, even though you had already. Yeah. yeah, and um, I, it yeah. hit me. I was like, you know what, man, maybe I'm maybe I'm doing too much. No, because you know everybody don't deserve all of your good. No, yeah, no, no, sure. all of your good deeds and stuff. Right, I had right. to learn that. You know what? Yeah, I can't. I may want to be nice to everybody, but you know, it doesn't always earn your goodwill back. And yeah, it's like. And you don't want to be evil. You're not yeah, trying to be not, like a villain yeah. or nothing. Yeah, right? but yeah, but it, the other part of it is like, okay, fine. If somebody doesn't want to return the favor, that's even if that's say like the, hypothetically, that's okay. Yeah. But then what it really does is it's like, okay, but am I being taken advantage of? If I'm, am I but a lot of times those people don't even realize they're taking advantage of you. Like just yeah. their perception is they yeah. think that all is good, and yeah. you know. Because sometimes I get in those situations where it's like, do they know that they're taking advantage of me? Or yeah. right, And right. so, and it's better to just say no, and then that person has to learn for themselves. But it's a hard thing. It's, to, a, it's, it's a tough it's, thing to learn if, yeah. you, if you grew up. Like, okay, so culturally, Arabs, right? Yeah. Like, we were given culture. You know yeah. You go yeah. to Morocco, you know what I'm saying? Like, they say the Bedouins, right? Like, yeah. the people who be in the deserts. Yeah. If they see anybody, like, th- you're going to be saved. They're going to feed you. They're going to clothe you. They're going to, like, give you money. So they send you on your way, put you in the right path, and oh, you're wow. going to be good to go. Because like, wow. that's what it is in, out in the desert, survival. Mm, but yeah. even Arab culture, like, as a whole, it's like that. You know what I mean? Like, mm. the way they would treat homeless people is w- s- wild how we treat them here. Right. Yeah. Because, like, a homeless person could come and knock on your door and be like, hey, look, I'm, I'm looking for food. Even if they're strung out on drugs, whatever their situation Usually, my mm. aunts and stuff, I've seen this happen m- multiple times. They'll make a big plate for them and give them, like, a loaf of bread. He'll sit right there on the, on the oh, stoop wow. and they'll that's talk that's to cool. him and then send him on his way. They'll take the plate back up. But you know what that is? And it kind of goes back. It's, it's the whole family dynamic. In Morocco, yeah. in a lot of countries, families are so tight. In the church community, same thing. Yeah. A lot of places here in America, everyone's just so individually Focus on themselves. Yeah, that so that's, yeah. the, that's my point. So yeah. you have that culture, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's bred in like my brothers and my sister and me. We're all the same way because of my parents were the same way. Yeah, it's like to give, but it's definitely people have definitely taken advantage of that. Yeah, in a, in a way where I think I went even further in the other direction where I'm like, no, nah, no, no, no. Yeah, like I've become less hospitable because mm. like, okay. and I used to, I still see things happen like with my brother or whatever. Yeah. Uh, he'll be like, yeah, no, no, he still has that thing. Like, everybody come over. I'm going to buy food for everybody. Everybody eats. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going to throw these huge barbecues. I'm like, yo, th- nobody's throwing you, like, money for this? He's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. You know, that's his thing. No, it's okay. Yeah. But, but there is that selfish feeling of feeling good when you do give. Like, I'm sure, like, for your brother, like, yeah, seeing everyone to come together, yeah, but you just got to be careful because there's right, people that right, right. You don't Do they ever feel like because we family, you supposed to do it? You ever had that? Um. Yeah, I think so. Maybe a, a, a little bit, but little I think okay. America gets in, into all of us. When yeah, you're, when you're yeah, yeah. Because, because all right, I'll. Sometimes I feel more Moroccan than American, and sometimes I feel more American than Moroccan. Okay. But I th- when I, I think feel you said more that American. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say it twice in a row? Yeah. Whatever. The opposite. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> but we know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. We got yeah. You. So if we got I feel you. more American than Moroccan. Then I'm like closed off and I'm like, oh, yeah, take care of yourself. Individual, you know, pick yeah. yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how I feel. But if I feel more Moroccan than American, then it's like, nah, man, that's not right. Like, we yeah. should all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, take care of each other. Community is important. It's, it's like liberal and conservative. Yeah, you just yeah. Out. exactly, right? <laughs> but that's good. You know, I want to turn on being an asshole and you don't want to turn it off. So that's that's a cool trait to have. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that's just, that. you know, that's just one example of something I had to, I had to learn. Because sometimes for me, it hurt to say to say no to some people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't sure. know if you ever, like, had to say no. And you was like, man, I feel awful <laughs> <laughs> yeah. saying yeah. no. Because, like, and that's when you, you like, man, when I get, you know, when you get, if you, 
guys get to a point where you're like millionaires, like you'll think like, man, I'm gonna help oh. out. I'm gonna help out my people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I was just praying for that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like you, you wanna you wanna help, but you, you you know, I just I just have to learn how to toe that line because yeah. she she um there was a lot of resentment and you get bitter and stuff like that and. Yeah, I feel like that's how. Damn. And uh, you know, it's in every superhero movie. The villain is like a good guy, but something fucked up yeah. happened to him. And then right, change right. it. And he was like, "Fuck yeah. that shit! Yeah, I don't yeah. care yeah. no more." Yeah, that's how it. Like yeah. that's how everyone He's not goes. Evil for like, no reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. like you didn't just wake up and happened. say, "Oh yeah, I want to kill people." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get this weird logic and you're like, yeah. All right. So. Well, but if I kill everybody, it's actually a good thing, yeah. Superman. Like, no. That's how I think Superman sounds. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Superman. I think it was you. You mentioned to me you wanted to ask me like, uh, how did my parents talk to me about sex? Okay. 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 Did all I jump right. too? You did. Ahead? You did. All right. Okay. Well, my get all excited. Let me like yeah. stop. We'll so we're at 50 minutes. All right. So we're yeah. ready to rock yeah. on that. Yeah. Well, yeah. For sure. Okay, so yeah, so we so we do do a section uh, uh, of the podcast where we ask you the si- the same questions to every guest. Oh, okay. Um, that is one of the questions. We'll get to it. Though. My bad, I'm yeah, jumping. I think you kind of touched good. on one too. About yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Which the wor- what is the uh, worst like a trait or, or, or a yeah. bad quality or bad habit mm-hmm. that you picked up from your mom? Yeah, that you carry yeah. with you within in, within your life. Yeah, definitely. So it's definitely that um that uh. So that that's want what to you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah that okay. want to kind of give and um, yeah, and having the and it's so funny because like, like me and Anwar are both married, so we will have, we'll have conversations about wives, and she's kind of like the one that guards my uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so when I want to say yeah, she's the one to be like <laughs> yeah. no, <laughs> to yeah, give me that you know the gatekeeper of yeah, your you know so yeah. that so funny. that definitely that definitely helps. But go on. All right, mean? all right. What is a bad trait from your dad's side? Bad trait from my dad's side. Bad um, habit or bad bad uh, trait, and even just if it's just like a like a dirty habit, or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like just a habit. God, you know what? I guess I can mention it because he's not gonna probably watch this. Oh <laughs> shit! They watch, buddies. We <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. even Both know how our eyes are on it, man. Yeah. Like we there, gotta man. follow it now. Yeah, <laughs> man. Okay, so and <laughs> all right, let's let's <laughs> roll those dice. <laughs> I had like a safe one and then like a, a personal, like a little deeper. All right. Pause. Um, Damn. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the, the the bad habit I got from him was, um, you know, every dude, every dude, you know, enjoys some some adult video content. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I love yeah. porno. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just giving you a kind of those that don't know what he's talking. Just about. give you a <laughs> teaser of where this where this conversation is going. So um, before I, I really got into it, um, I was in my room one day, and my dad has a shed in the backyard. Oh, um, if you know anything about like man sheds or dad sheds yeah, in the yeah, backyard, yeah. they can put anything and everything in that oh, shed. Right. And it's like a, a candy store of the most unusual things yeah, right yeah i didn't have a key to it um but he had this box i was playing video games he had this box brown box of tapes <laughs> oh, in the box oh shit the old right? vhs's you see where this is going yeah, right yeah, yeah, now yeah. me I, my room has the game system um, this is probably when playstation one was hot damn <laughs> <laughs> and i have a vcr in my room i have a vcr i have the games because i can watch whatever i want and he left the box there this is an exclusive he doesn't even know that i know this <laughs> hey he left the box no, there and he we went off promo somewhere this clip. Oh, yeah no, it's like, no, no. <laughs> he left the box there and then he went off to i guess go back out and do some stuff so me being nosy mm-hmm. i look through the box and i see all these videos just all of the volumes you know like damn what was he in what kind of the, show just the bubble to? any <laughs> bubble volume <laughs> <laughs> anything with bubble volume 10 you just yeah. in there so i'm looking through all of them and i'm like i pop one in and i'm watching it and i was like man i should probably get some jergens right now <laughs> and um <laughs> go to work so so you know i you know I, I i did it and i had to clean up you know when you do some dirt you got to clean up the oh, scene the evidence, yeah. so yeah. nobody knows what yeah, happened yeah, so yeah. I put it right in the exact same spot because you know when something's out of order, Even people can yeah. know they're like, hey, they be like, yeah. hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I put it back like and 
I I I seen him go in the to the backyard and I was looking out the window creepily <laughs> and I saw him put it in the shed. Yeah. Right. So eventually one day like he had two keys. So I got one of the keys, and That's when so he wasn't funny, here, so you like staked it out for like when he wasn't like here. <laughs> yeah, I went in the I went to the shed, and I saw like I saw all these videos just up against the walls, <laughs> like a blockbuster. Oh, so, <laughs> but a shed, yeah, shed yeah. but a shed, he right? The, so he it's had the room <laughs> when you had to open, open the it, curtain. Yeah. Yeah. It's lawn <laughs> tools and just. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a whole so, hub of um, videos. It, like I swear, this this is like the first time I'm saying that. This is crazy. So I go in there and I, I see I see all these, and it's the tapes with the black permanent marker on it. Oh, so he was just labeling, labeling, you know, uh, the labeling yeah, yeah. stuff. And I saw one that made me nervous because it just said like uh like bedroom. Oh, no. oh man! No, and you know you ever see a too tape? much mystery to go. You ever on see it. a tape where you're like, I feel like I don't want to know what it is, but no, uh, you but didn't. You, <laughs> no, 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 no. I did. I didn't have it in me because oh. I was. I wasn't ready. Oh, but it could. I wasn't been. ready for that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I could. I like I, everything else. I was like fair game, but I can't. I can't. That was a church sermon. You weren't. That's ready the one for tape. Yeah. I just. I can't. I feel do. the same way about horror movies. Bro. <laughs> I'm like I'm just not gonna. I don't know. It, it, this could affect me too. Yeah, deeply. but I was just staring I'm not at it. Watch this. I was just staring at the yeah. tape like it was the fucking ring, just like looking at it like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. And it just burned. I will never forget it. And um, I was like, man, but. Yes, yeah, so I had to, you know, lock it up and everything. So you're saying you get your uh, video producing skills from your pocket? But it was like it <laughs> yeah. was like it was like a personal stash that, you know, if I if I was feeling something, I could just go and grab something. That's and it was so many funny. tapes, it's not like you would notice that, you know, something something's mis- missing. Yeah. So it was like oh my God. I don't know, he might thank do like God inventory God. every day, like or every Man. once a week. Bro, so thank God for the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, think about like I'm thinking about it from you like discovering it back then. Yeah. But think about it for him, like what he had to go through, what the, his whole setup, what he had to do to just like take care yeah. of himself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For a little joy. So now I laugh when I, I hear I hear those those dads be like, All right, I'm going to the shed, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be out in the shed like, yeah, oh, like ew, <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> So it, just go, it has bro. a whole new meaning to me because yeah. I'm like, you think because women don't go in. It's 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 like a man cave. Mm-hmm. You know what the thing is? For dude. So the, the question was, what's a bad habit that you got from your dad? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a shed? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> no. So that's that's hilarious, though. But <laughs> just a shed in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> VHS is yeah. inside so his apartment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the bad habit was that that, that kind of got me hooked on, you know, the adult the adult content. Got it. Got so it, that was kind of like where I started and I just kind of ran with that. So Took it and ran. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. So it yeah, was but like. has it? Yeah. And I'm sure for different people, I, they got exposed to it differently. Mm-hmm. I guess not. That's probably not as nobody put a box in front of you like that. Yeah. But right, yeah. right, right, right. It's probably, you know, like, oh, you was watching something and maybe a, a scene came up. You ever have that moment where your parents like try to. Oh, yeah. Like, guard yeah, your eyes. eyes yeah. and they're like, oh, no, this is the no. rated R scene. But your parents probably <laughs> see. <laughs> you like, let, let you watch yeah. like R rated <laughs> movies growing up. Um. It was like none, and then all of them, mm-hmm. and then it was like all right. But by then yeah. it was like whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I was definitely a late bloomer. I remember mm. the first one that they were like, all right, this one's too good. We all are gonna enjoy this together. Yeah. It was my cousin Vinny. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Joe I think Pesci. I remember that. Yeah. Joe Pesci, right, and he yeah. was a lawyer. Yeah. And he had to um, uh, break out his uh, or or his little cousin mm-hmm. went down south. And got caught up in a murder beef, but he didn't do it, and so no. he had to defend him. And Joe Pesci was just like this amateur lawyer, <laughs> and it was a lot of cussing and it was a lot. Oh of yeah. So there's the whole dynamic. It was like, whoa, New York guy down in the deep south in Alabama. Wow. And so yeah. it was, I mean, it's such a good movie. Side Remember note, Tomei? Oh, so fun. Because this is the second time we brought up a reference. If we can somehow down the road link up where we can always pull up references on a screen or something, you know. A lot of podcasts do that, and we can cut this whole thing out of the video. But that's I think, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, it would be cool just to like have visuals. I mean, it's oh a good yeah. movie though. It's so good, dude. 
Definitely. All right. Anyway, um, I love right, so it. If you guys can put like a little shed in the little, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. that would be yeah. like. I don't know if my. I think my <laughs> wife would know what was up. I mean, listen. All I need is my phone. I got iPads too. I just go yeah. hop into the bathroom, turn on the, the shower. So yeah, you know yeah. Saying? That was definitely. I'll I'll say that's one thing on a. Uh, Maybe on a not so obviously like a not so good side yeah, of yeah. it. I'm not mad at it, right? Because you know I'm a dude, but you yeah. know I think on the good side, you know, with with him, you know, he um he didn't grow up with his father, so he wanted to do things differently and actually be present while I was growing up, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which I think is cool. That's the great thing about like you and War, and you know wh- if we we get to that point, we can we have the chance to do things differently. Yeah, if there was something we didn't like. Yeah, that yeah, we yeah. saw, like you know, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna do something else because that that made me messed up. Yeah. So I don't want to keep doing that. Yeah, we you know. need therapy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's so yeah. No for you is what you're saying down the. Well, well I don't. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have a shed, but. <laughs> so my dad has a shit this day, but it's not no, no, with videos, I'm it's just weed and, he, and cigarettes. Well, which he got a phone these days. Exactly. You know so he doesn't need it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll take the phone to the shed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's all Everybody you need. has, and maybe the shed is like indicative of a man, because it's like a man cave. It's a great exactly. hangout you spot. Need, you, yeah. need, you need your place just to get away from life sometimes yeah. exactly well for me i don't Even, have one so yeah. i kick my wife out the house and then we do this podcast <laughs> yeah. you gotta go and i know the, i know the ladies are like you know well, well we can both be in the match well not that's nah, not it's that's not, not the not point, the point, point of it it's, no. it's, it's like for women, i don't want to like generalize <laughs> but women it's the bathroom you know they get ready or the closet or something <laughs> so fucked up. damn bro. <laughs> he'd be locking women in the bathroom and in the closet no, I'm just saying, that's where they go in they spend hours enjoy your time yeah. he just throws his, like flowers at him like Lavender. <laughs> I just took a shit in there, by the way. I hope yeah. you like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, oh no, but it, it, you're right because yeah. that's what my wife does. She go, all right, I'm yeah. going, going upstairs, which means I'm gonna go take a bath, just sit in the bathtub for hours. Yeah, and, you know, and just like watch some girly show that she knows I'm gonna just roast the whole time. <laughs> I won't let her enjoy it because I'm gonna just be like, trolling. This is dumb. <laughs> well, why would she do that? You know, she can't watch it in peace, so she could watch dumb shows, yeah. listen to dumb music, like. FaceTime her friends and talk about dumb shit and just be a girl. That's in the funny, bathroom, yeah. in the bathtub. That's so yeah. dope. I thought I was the only one that roasts my girl shows. But no, I do we that. can't stand them. Nobody I can stand their girl the shows. Dog. Their shows that. just made for them. Like So you know I mean? Love and Hip Hop, is that something your wife watches? Is she one of those? No, okay. thank God. Okay. I would. She would get roasted too. Oh my gosh. Is it one of those like interior like, decorating shows? What are some of the shows you always watch? She likes it's know. it's for you know, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. Whatever's on, I just cook her and roast yeah, her for it. Yeah. yeah, and wifey's not not bad with that. Cause she likes thrillers. Um mm. I got her into horror movies. Oh, nice. Which is kind of so, cool. So you like them? I, I like horror I can't, movies. I don't get that. She don't like the demonic. She don't mess with that demonic. Yeah, she yeah, don't like yeah. that. But like, I watch any like horror movies. Yeah, horror but, movies um, are great though. I like those. That, of course, comedy. If it's not not corny, like romantic comedy. Stuff like that. Like my mom loves the Hallmark Channel. She what? Loves, I I just I'm like, ugh. Yeah, it's that's all. It's just just the most corny. Like this Christmas, the guy slipping on. A, whoa, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. just I'm like. Ugh. My wife, it's like some some drama, some weird drama that I'm like, I'm like, what? I don't know. It's just some. Yeah. It's just people and their feelings. You know what I'm saying? What is that? <laughs> this is us. Or this is oh that yeah, thing. Uh, it's just people crying, uh, just <laughs> sad about shit all the time, and just or overly like whatever. I just hate yeah. it. I'm like, yo, just tell them to chill. It's, and for guys, it's not <laughs> a lot of movies that make guys cry. Like I don't know if you had a movie. I it's, it's one movie, maybe one or two movies that made me like ball up. But I don't know if y'all had a movie like that. Ball. But, I, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I've got, get some, I, I've got some little it's you know, misty eyed. I'm trying to think of what one movie. of them. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the one that got me, and it's one that y'all probably weren't on, but it was a Will Smith. It's called Seven Pounds. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that movie one. had yeah. me like, oh, like, oh man. That one really <laughs> made me cry. Will Smith, would, like Will Smith, is you know somebody who could deliver. I'll tell you what bag. took me out of it. I got this box jellyfish. Why is it a jellyfish, bro? Oh, the just jellyfish use, that yeah, killed him? Yeah, just use whatever, dog. It was, you know what? It, what you know what? a razor or a gun? I can, I, can <laughs> tell you, I can tell you the part that got me. It wasn't even the jelly. <laughs> it was like the, the, the eyes, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, when he, he gave that dude eyes, yeah, I was yeah. like, yo. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> maybe this, is, this speaks to the, our like different our different levels. It was for me one of the ones that made me cry. It was uh, um, it, oh, damn, I don't even remember. It was such a long time ago. You know who starred in it? Or? Yeah, yeah. No, I forget. No. Joaquin Phoenix, but it was he's retarded. I am Sam. Oh wait, was that Joaquin Phoenix? No. I am Sam. I remember. I am Sam. Yeah. Was that the movie? Yeah, yeah. That was I the movie. I haven't seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Will Parker was it? <laughs> I think he lo- loses. He loses his kid at the end. <laughs> I don't it's know. so f- right. it's it's like yeah. for it's like a Forrest Gump type yeah. of movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he said he cried at it, so I, I was cried. Cry- <laughs> I cried. I remember I cried at I was great. <laughs> I was like, I'm yeah. trying to think yeah. like what would make. I'm trying to picture him crying at what like, part? Yeah. I'm like, that would be so sad to be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my god! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's so funny. Oh um, my gosh! Yeah. I remember I was. Probably, I was a young teenager, I think, or maybe John Q. Denzel Washington. John oh, Q. Yeah. was yeah. John Q. was yeah. That yeah, was like that little, one got me a little. That bit. was a little that yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sports movies always get me wrong. Like if it's like a powerful like, like just like Coach Carter. I didn't cry in that, but like yeah. you know when he just delivers his message, I'm oh, just like. What was the yeah. baseball one with the little kid? Oh, baseball. Remember? Oh, with Angel Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Reeves. It was like Chicago or something. Uh, his name was G something. Yeah, G baby. G baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Damn, I vague, I don't remember. Oh, that and he got killed. Hard yeah. something. Hard. I forget the name of the movie. He got killed too. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Okay, he got killed. G baby, man. Yeah. Oh my god. That was tough. That was tough. Yeah, no read. Anyone? Uh, some of those I don't. Okay, <laughs> oh yeah, hardball, hardball, hardball. Hardball. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, like all right, you remember, uh, you know, Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And the scene when uh when he comes back and he's got the blood all over and they're just screaming over, uh, when what's his face is dead, you know? Yeah. The mom and the oh, sister, yeah. they're just screaming. Oh. I can't even watch that. It's like just it's unwatchable to me because it's like this yeah. is not entertainment this is just traumatic that's a good point it's it's one it's something it's bad well, it's, right, it's that realness to it yeah you know? when a mom and like yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like something about a mom yeah when a mom baby, is in yeah. there too man it just yeah. make it so much worse and they just like scream. they're just like yeah it's not even like acting they're like legit like just yeah, yeah. just screaming i'm like this is uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. So I don't like that. That's I don't like horror movies. I, I like to be entertained when I go to the movies. I'm like, I'm not trying to feel like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to feel like this. But great writing and acting is what makes it fucking brilliant. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, but it's brilliant. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's really yeah. good. But it's like you come in with a big ass bo- bag of popcorn and some, you know, all this junk food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trauma. That is funny, man. What the fuck? Man. So I guess so. For your mom, good and bad, you said giving kind of play on both sides. Um, and so the I guess the given, it's weird. That's kind of that's kind of a good and bad one. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll I guess I'll use that one as like the uh, as like the bad one. I don't know. It's kind of both, but um, yeah, I think both. that was definitely yeah. one um, one thing. I think again the sense of humor. I think um, mm. I probably got that from um. Yeah. From from her. But yeah. Well what about all right, so we kinda talked about your sex thing, right? Oh, that's oh I forgot. Yeah. You had yeah, a different yeah. you had a so different one maybe you were gonna bring up. I mean your yeah, dad's whole So thing. that's funny talking about that. That's how my d- dad introduced it to me. Okay. <laughs> like now here's so so my mom sat me down in a chair, like just how you are. Really? You guys Man. legit had a sit <laughs> down, bro? Pastor son. <laughs> you know, he's so, the so, first so one. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I'm, the movies, yeah. I've never heard of that. That's actually. how you yeah. know it's gonna be a c- uncomfortable comedy. Yeah, you ever wow. see those movies where <laughs> like somebody comes in and yeah. the henchmen are behind him? Like, yeah, yeah. Take a seat. <laughs> yeah, take yeah. A sit down. Like a Take Godfather a movie <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Seat. Like no, I'm good. <laughs> like no, you're gonna sit down. Yeah. Sit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're sitting down for this one. So and I never. So she she told me like basically like women are ass and titties. Damn. <laughs> right? She said you're going to be attracted to women, but the things you're attracted to is the ass and the titties. Mm-hmm. So, and I hope the God you don't watch this. <laughs> but 
That's what she told me, right? <laughs> and then she she did this little prance to say this is how they're gonna walk <laughs> and accentuate. Oh, so I'm in the chair <laughs> like this, like watching your mom prance. Around. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because it's That's like, so funny, dude. and I'm like, she, she, you know, it, maybe she didn't articulate it well, but she kind of got to the gist of it. But uh, she could have gave me some more game. But you know, I mean, what do you expect from a pat? You know, a female yeah. like Listen, they're not going to give you the, no, no, no. the, the you know the what the I'm details, saying? Yeah. Some, that, you, the yeah. fact that she sat down with you and started explaining things at all instead of just <laughs> innuendo and then yeah. anger, you know what I mean? It was yeah. just like how, how I got m- most people. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just kind of got to figure it out from yeah. your friends at school. Everybody's yeah. lying. That's better. Dude, yeah. That's much better. <laughs> so I, uh, I learned really quick, okay, these are the things I'm going to like. Wow. And she wasn't wrong. I mean, Hell like, no. <laughs> it's just weird. 100, yeah. <laughs> it's just weird when yeah. you, you know, your your yeah, mom. She's over there, yeah, catwalking <laughs> down the living room. <laughs> yeah. So it's so funny. That's crazy. If I ever like, you know, had a situation where, where I was with a girl and I didn't pull out, I'm like, Mom, it's the ass and titties. <laughs> you told me. <laughs> you told me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was the so situation <laughs> in, in growing up that you got yeah. in the most trouble? Most trouble, man. Um, one, one. <laughs> it was. I said one, right? That means there's a. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, I was like, one of them was um. I w- I was doing. I wasn't doing too great in school, mm-hmm. and uh, I was pretty good at uh writing my dad's signature. Oh. Because we have the exact same name. Yeah. So if you remember back in school, you got interims and then you got report yeah. cards. The interims were scarier than the report cards. Yeah. So Damn, I didn't I like interims because yeah, intern yeah. was like, it was kind of like an appetizer ass whooping. Yeah, to like a, a foreshadowed yeah, yeah, entree yeah, yeah. ass whooping, which is the report. So I yeah. learned how to forge my dad's signature. So I would just continue to, like, you know. Sign it and then give it back to him and put senior. Wow. Instead of junior, because I'm he's senior, so it's the same name. Yeah. And they took it, right? Um, you can't do that with report cards, though. Right, right. That's where report cards got tricky. So, <laughs> and this is me being an idiot. I tried to manufacture a report card oh, wow. that looks just Damn, like that one. Damn, you did that like you went on the <laughs> computer and you did the whole thing. Now, it's I'm an it. idiot because I fucking use Microsoft Word. <laughs> <laughs> so it's obvious that a Word document looks different than their, their report yeah. card. So I didn't yeah, commit. Yeah. I didn't commit enough to it. Yeah. So I'm handing this nonsense to her. Oh, my God. And she's like, what is what is this? And I said, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, their, their, their computer systems got all jacked up, so they had to reprint them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's why you put all that effort into that. Instead yeah, of, and know, she caught it immediately. Yeah. Exactly. And then yep. you had to yeah. some shitty ass. <laughs> <laughs> the computers are <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> the computers are fucked so up. So, g- hey, are we good? Yeah. yeah. So, guys, this is an oh, exclusive okay. Anthony again. I, I haven't said this to any. These are the only two guys hey. that a lot of this stuff is so. And then to our just yeah well, relatively <laughs> still small <laughs> little listenership, but I guess that's alright. But yeah, so that's that's hilarious, dude. So yeah, I got a I got a a computer. Big, like that. that is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I really tried, man. That was the one thing I couldn't I could not uh, crack that report. So card, what was man. the uh, punishment? What what happened? Man, I got she whooped me. <laughs> you ever get you ever get whooped when you like? First of all, you ever grew up and you got whooped when you were completely naked? Yeah. That's yep. the worst. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the worst. And I felt like one of those, <laughs> you know, those prisoners that have to stand up against the wall naked and grab their, like. Yeah. Gra- did she tell you to strip down? <laughs> did she just, like, wait till you were naked one time and, like, <laughs> surprise you? Like, <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the shower. Oh. And my dad came home early. Man, yeah. when you get whooped, when you wet. In- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my Wet. God. Yeah. In the that, shower. Yeah. Wow, oh my God. Like, yeah. And well, you slip. Trying, trying not to cover. Yeah. Trying you not to slip. Slipping in it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. So I got in trouble at school. And my dad, you know, he's the bus driver. So the, the teachers, they wouldn't call home even. They, oh. they figured out, oh, Mr. Fickery is right out there. So just walk out. Yeah. Yep. At the end of the school oh. day. I'm like, you know, my. my Goofy ass is just walking, <laughs> you know, getting on the bus, sitting in the back of the bus, joking around with my friends. 
And like, meanwhile, my dad's like standing outside his bus, you know, saying hi to everybody, whatever. Uh-huh. Teacher just walk up. Your son, excuse me, how are you doing, Mr. Oh, Pickering? Your man. son today in my class. Da, 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 da. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wow. So that Ooh. one day, I, can't my, I forgot about this ass. Oh. This is a legendary one. I mean, it wasn't that deep. Yeah. You know, like it wasn't that bad or anything because he didn't want me to slip or whatever. Yeah. But the fact that, like, I was at home, like, la, 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 you know, boom, he came in, like, wow. He's like, you want to miss whatever's class? I was like, ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> trying to cover my shit. <laughs> Man, he's so up on you. Yeah, he was having like, a good moment, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Just like <laughs> you know? yeah. That Man. was like middle school, too. Man, uh, it was funny because, like, I, I when she whooped me, <laughs> it was one of them naked ones. And when she whooped me, I was like, I was like trying to move around and and I almost turned over. And she stopped and she said, like, don't you turn over because, like, I'm going to hit it if you turn oh, over. Shit. He's like, you don't want that. I'm like, you right, you right. Yeah. <laughs> Let me flip back over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> On my stomach, cause oh man, that's yeah, that's that's not what I that's not where I want the the whooping to be. No. Damn, <laughs> that's heavy, man. All right, well, we'll end it on this. Um, what's the most proud of you they've ever been? Um, I, I believe uh, when I when I graduated college, it was definitely um, a yeah. big moment. It's a good achievement. Mm. Graduated college. Um, my parents still waiting. <laughs> 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 Shit, good thing my parents got my sister and my brother. Cause they, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. They yeah. um they were definitely proud proud of that. Um, and um even when I when I uh when I got married too. Mm. And yeah. um, it's where I don't I and I I guess it's a parent thing. I maybe I don't know that you know if I I have kids and they get married too. But um yeah I'm I'm guessing with parents it's it's a it hits you when you you. You raised this kid, and now they're out grown. Their so it's together. you know, it's yeah. I'm sure it's it's one of those things with mm-hmm. um, with that. Yeah. But like you'll you you might you might get Terry out on you. That might be uh you know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I mean, it seems like. Oh yeah, yeah I mean yeah yeah. yeah. It's so just it's just like, but I could see. I mean, my parents didn't cry at my wedding. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that wasn't their that wasn't their thing for me because I was you know I was young, but. Yeah. Um, but no, I could see for sure for me, like that, you know, mm-hmm. cause you're seeing them as this like fully formed adult yeah. doing a big thing and like starting like a, defining a new chapter in their life. Yeah. And then you probably, you, the, the parents probably sit there at the you know wedding, like replaying like mm-hmm. the times from, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'll replay times from like when my daughter's this age, like. This is crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Watching somebody grow up is nuts, you know? Yeah. Even from, you know, she, my daughter's six, like, mm-hmm. going from this to, like, what she is now. Yeah. yeah. Like, talking shit to him when he walks in and <laughs> stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, for yeah, real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, whatever. She's just, like. It's, like, friendly. It's just yeah, funny, like, yeah. I'm sure, yeah, because she wasn't talking, and now she's, like, yeah, she, fuck out of here. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she like, cracks up. Uh, yeah. But is that what is that verbatim or is that you? No, 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 she no, no. She's, she's really nice. She's <laughs> nice. She'll act shy, but then yeah, she'll yeah. like play all these toys and like show off. It's just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, kids are hilarious, man. Yeah, okay, they no are, man. Yeah. Is that in your in your near future? You know what, mate? I don't. <sighs> no pressure. Don't. I'm, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Dude, <laughs> I'm so like State. I'm so. It's one of the things where I want to, but then I'm concerned about it because you know how like some people just want kids because they're cute. And it's like that's well, wild. Well, no, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a big commitment. And some people say like 18 years. You you are a parent to you. That's a lifetime thing. Really. Yeah, that's it's no life. 18 years. Yeah. I'm like, you could anything could happen, and you could be stuck with them for, for yeah. 25, 28. Yeah. It, dude, I definitely didn't know enough to be okay at 18, like to live on my own. And I was still figuring stuff out. I don't know if it was different for you two, but Listen, 18, I probably couldn't like just be on my own, like for completely sure not. On for at sure 18, not. So. 18 yeah. is actually like you're doing. You're a way ahead of the curve if you're like living on your own at 18. 18 is yeah. That's you know what I mean? That's that's like the old school, like that married, like you're saying, like with your parents yeah. getting married young, yeah. like shit. I mean, my 
17, 18, I was like alone living at my neighbor's, but I was like partying. Like, I didn't have a care in the world. You know, yeah. I was still being a kid just without supervision, but yeah. was not surviving in this world yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, it's definitely not just, it's not just 18. It's right. like, it could yeah. go till, I mean, we know people our age. That are living with their parents right now. Hey still, man. I ain't gonna say no <laughs> names. <laughs> no, no. But, but hey, no, no judgment. It's yeah, wild out here. Yeah. Like it's not easy. Man. And look at it now, too. Like when we were kids, and now how society and technology is. Just think, yeah. eighteen years from now, twenty years from now, what that shit's gonna be like. We're not gonna have any answers. Like we can talk about what we know, but yeah. we grew up at a time where it was like. Go outside till the street lights come on. Right, right, right. You know, right. you gotta you had to ride your bike to someone's house or call somebody. Like, like now it's like, what's the world like? You know, yeah. it's, it's, like, <laughs> yeah, what is it's not yeah. like back in the day where you could just work at a factory, make a lot of money, and buy right. a place. <laughs> right, yeah. like no, right. we have McDonald's jobs, so it's yeah. like yeah, yeah. you can't just do that at eighteen and get a house. No, and, no, uh, no, yeah. Get married. I'm yeah, like, you, you work yeah. at a factory. <laughs> the wife stays at home. Right. Every you got five kids. Everybody's right. eating good and yeah. going to a good school. It, it's like off of one salary. <laughs> right. No side exactly. hustles. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I ain't like that, yeah. man. No, it's, it's, not, yeah. not. Two incomes, right? And uh, and side hustles, like each three jobs, and, and, like and, and, and we're like, I don't know if we're gonna make it, man. <laughs> 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 it's wild. It's tough. Yeah. Quick question: You got anything coming up? Because I know we're about to, at the end. Is there anything you want to um, share? Yeah, you know, it's it's weird. So with with, with the co Corona thing, you know, shows are starting to slowly pick back up again mm -hmm. um so i'm going to be at the uh, state theater in uh april mm -hmm. april uh 24th um and i'm doing the guest spot there which is pretty nice. cool i know it's a little ways away but um april 24th i'm doing the guest spot at a uh, state theater in a uh, harvard so um, a great harvard movie. so um yeah definitely looking forward to that i know you you've been up to there mm -hmm. i think so I've you've come yeah through that it, one well i went to the one in bel-air is that what you're talking about? It's the one you gotta climb the light. You climb the yeah. yeah, yeah. That's oh yeah. It was in Bel Air. State Theater. Yeah. Harv oh, Harv de Grasse or? or something like that. Harv de Oh oh Harvard de Grace. Harvard de Grace. Harvard. Yeah. De <laughs> Both y'all said Harvard. I'm like yeah, I, I never messed it up too. That was on me. <laughs> I but you agreed too. Harvard de Grace. I, I know. I thought oh, it, so was. it wasn't yeah. Bel Air. It's just close to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. it was close to Annapolis too. Yeah. You got it's on the other side of Maryland. Like, so yeah, how, how, what's the proper? Is it have her, have her to grace, have her to grace. Yeah, but like, hey, yeah. you can have her, you, you can grace. have her. <laughs> Just say grace, <laughs> Just say grace. Just say before you eat. But that's what's yeah. up. That's yeah. that's a dope gig, man. Uh, yeah, you guys should go check him out, man. Funny, 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 funny guy. One of the best joke writers out here for sure. Oh, for sure. It, Black CNN, check that out too. That's yes. on the socials. Check out his socials. We'll link all his stuff yeah. on here. You know? Yeah. Uh, but, yo, thank you for coming on our podcast. Now we know where you're from. Yes. Yeah, This has man. been fun, dude. Appreciate Definitely, it. Yeah, bro. man. All right. Thank Definitely. you, Check guys. us out. Check us out. Peace. Boo!